Policymakers, scientists and other players are set to converge in Nairobi for the third session of the Intergovernmental Negotiating Committee to develop an international legally binding instrument on plastic pollution, including in the marine environment. Ahead of that summit, two reports have been launched by the Nordic Council of Ministers. Speaking in Nairobi, where he hosted journalists ahead of the summit, Finland's ambassador to Kenya, Perka Tapiola, noted that it is time for nations to act fully to achieve a plastic-free world. Plastic pollution is a planetary crisis with impacts on ecosystems, biodiversity, the climate and human health. Without new and effective control measures, plastic production is set to double in 20 years and plastic waste leaking into the ocean is projected to triple by 2040. The summit is scheduled to take place from the 13th to the 19th of November 2023 at the UN Environment Program headquarters in Nairobi. Now this is important, it's not a political commitment, it's actually international law. Now, once you're going in, toward, in that negotiation uh, direction, once you're going forward with negotiations, you very often run the risk that people are trying to find just a negotiated solution. And these reports are, very, are really vital to get an understanding on what we're talking about. I think we need all to work together. You're a member of the press corps, uh, George. And I think it's really important. That's why we do a press briefing as well, to keep the pressure on out there and to explain to the public on why these things are that important. And I think that if we go in that direction, if we really take those commitments, if we have this conversation, then maybe we do get into that real action. And I can tell you, I've seen it happen. I go around Europe, many single-use products have disappeared, those which we took for granted. These are the important uh, action points. Now, parts of the world are more advanced than others, parts are following slower, but if we get a international legally binding baseline, then we can get, the, I think, everybody's ambition level up and we can get a global ambition.